This is the Redmi Note 13 and this is the Samsung Galaxy A15. Which is better? Well, let me break it down right after you click on that like button so that more people can get to see this video and that subscribe button as well. Thank you and let's get started. Starting up with what's in the box. Well, in short, the Redmi Note 13 offers more. It offers a charging brick and a TPU case which is more than just the Type-C to C cable bundled with the Samsung Galaxy A15. And before I proceed, I have to clarify, both devices are meant to be priced at around $150, which might vary in Naira depending on where and where you get it. Now, moving on to the design, the Redmi Note 13 looks good. It looks like it's made out of glass at the back, but it isn't. Likewise, the Galaxy A15 rocks a familiar plastic build that is a fingerprint magnet. In fact, both devices are fingerprint magnets, but the Redmi Note 13 comes with a case which you can use right away. Still on the body, the Redmi Note 13 now has a stereo speaker setup which is an upgrade from last year, while the Samsung Galaxy A15 still rocks a mono speaker setup. On the bright side, both devices still have the headphone jack. Also, both devices are 4G capable. They can support two 4G nano SIM cards or one 4G nano SIM card and a micro SD card. That said, there is a 5G variant for both devices, but I can't say if they are available for this region, at least at the time of recording this video. When it comes to display, the Redmi Note 13 is a joy to look at. Right from its thinner bezels to its 1080p AMOLED display with support for a 120Hz refresh rate, 1800 nits of peak brightness and the protection of Corning Gorilla Glass 3. It beats the Samsung Galaxy A15 in every possible way. I mean, the Samsung Galaxy A15 has a larger bezel, a not so good looking notch, a 1080p AMOLED display as well with support for 90Hz refresh rate and a total of 800 nits of peak brightness. So using the Redmi Note 13 outdoors will be simply just better. Also consuming content will be better as it has a stereo speaker setup as I mentioned earlier. So in terms of display, the Redmi Note 13 has it as it is a more much better display. In terms of software, the Redmi Note 13 comes with Android 13 and MIUI 14, while the Samsung Galaxy A15 comes with Android 14 and One UI 6. It doesn't end here. The Samsung Galaxy A14 has a promise of 5 years worth of software updates, 4 years being major Android OS updates and the fifth for security patches, which is more than the Redmi can offer. Maximum we get is probably 2 years and that's if we get any. I think Redmi should work on their software division once they do that they will be golden. Anyways, when it comes to performance, I would like to say the Samsung Galaxy A15 is better as it rocks a MediaTek Helio G99 chipset compared to the Snapdragon 685 chipset on the Redmi Note 13. And what do you know? Well, I will be right. The MediaTek Helio G99 chipset is an overall more powerful processor compared to the Snapdragon 685. That said, day-to-day -day tasks, you might not even notice the difference. Even in games, you might believe the Redmi Note 13 is better as the Snapdragon chipset is more optimized for games. Also, the 120Hz refresh rate will make a difference when gaming compared to the 90Hz refresh rate on the Samsung Galaxy A15. Both devices can be spec'd up to 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. Personally, I would advise the 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage variants of either of the devices as they are the sweet spots in a price to performance ratio. When it comes to battery, both devices are powered by 5000mAh batteries and they will last you through the entire day on moderate to high usage. Now, when it comes to charging, the Redmi Note 13 is faster at 33W fast charging which brings for a time of around 1 hour 15 minutes from 0 to 100% while the Samsung Galaxy A15 is slower at 25 watts but also charges from 0 to 100% in around 1 hour 30 minutes. Personally, they are okay but the Redmi Note 13 comes with a charger in the box so less money to spend. Flipping the devices, we are greeted with the camera setups. The Redmi Note 13 rocking a triple camera setup which includes a 108 megapixel main, 8 megapixel ultra wide and 2 megapixel macro. While the Samsung Galaxy A50 rocks a 50 megapixel main, 5 megapixel ultra wide, and 2 megapixel macro. Given enough light, both devices will shoot decent photos, but when it comes to videos, they aren't really the best. That said, the Redmi Note 13 comes with optical image stabilization, which brings for a slightly better video experience compared to the Samsung Galaxy A15. Also, both devices can record videos up to 1080p, 30 frames per second. 
which is kind of mediocre but hey it is what it is same story when it comes to the selfie cameras the 16 megapixel selfie camera on the redmi note 13 and the 13 megapixel selfie camera on the samsung galaxy a15 can shoot up to 1080p 30 frames per second now when it comes to securing the redmi note 13 for the first time the base model gets an under display optical fingerprint scanner which is definitely cool but it isn't as fast and reliable as the side mounted fingerprint scanner on the samsung galaxy a15 that said, if I am to pick, I will most likely go for the under display optical fingerprint scanner as I am more accustomed to it and hey, it is cooler. So back to the question, which should you buy? Well, the Redmi Note 13 is an overall better device. It has the strengths in display performance while doing well in every other aspect as well. So if you can get it at a good price, then I will totally recommend you go for it. Let me know your own thoughts in the comment section and which you'll be going for as well. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and catch you guys in the next one. Peace.